have got a long-standing interest in nutrition in the management of dementia, um, and, and I know that the uh, the aims of your research have been based around uh, medium-trained triglycerides or MCTs. But I would just be grateful if you would outline the science behind that and why it attracted you as a possible therapeutic maneuver in in Alzheimer's disease. Well, I think there's. Um it's been established for some time now that the brain, it, first of all, uses a lot of glucose, a lot of fuel, and that as we get older, its ability to use glucose goes down, uh, and that problem seems to deteriorate even further as Alzheimer's disease becomes established. And glucose is the dominant fuel of the brain, uh, that's for sure. So what we're concerned about is, is this due to the neuron failing or is it due to a problem taking up the glucose specifically? Because the brain can use more than one fuel. It, it also uses ketones. Um, if we don't eat for a period of time, 24 hours, 48 hours, um, ketones are supplying an important part of, of fuel for the brain. So we uh, developed a, a ketone pet tracer to compare the glucose uptake and the ketone uptake and we established that in fact ketone uptake is not affected early in Alzheimer's disease. Um, and, and that's important because it, it raises the possibility of a therapeutic type of intervention with a product that could supply more ketones and, and medium chain triglycerides are probably the best source of, um, of fats to make ketones. And this glucose deficiency, this is, um, this is a typical finding in Alzheimer's disease uh, or, or dementias in general, or, or, or does it also occur in the elderly? It, it occurs in the elderly, but the areas that are affected in the elderly tend to be predominantly in the, in the front of the brain, the frontal lobe, whereas in Alzheimer's disease it's more specifically in the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, the side, the, what they call the association areas of, of the brain. So it's a different pattern and uh, there's no indication that just because it's, it's decreasing in the frontal cortex in someone who uh, is getting older that they're getting Alzheimer's disease. It's, it's a region specific pattern. That's excellent. And can it be any MCT uh, that, you, that you give, uh, any, any, any type of that food category or medical food category or is it a, are, are there specific, uh, specific MCT products that are, are useful? I can't answer it specifically. We know that fatty acids in MCT that are of six carbons, eight carbons, 10, 12, are reasonably effective for this purpose, but I have, I'm not aware of any results that really directly compares mixtures or one type against another. So at this point, it's a, a moot uh, question. Okay, thank you very much indeed.